Okay, busy day here at the car wash. We've got uh, visitors from Sonex Singapore. They've brought this Honda Civic FK8R. It's all Honda gang here. Lah. Civic FK8R. Here is the legendary FD2R. All right. They don't make them like they, they used to anymore. This is the official car of the dealer of uh, Sonex Singapore. Now, but the car that I am more fascinated with is this. This is the Honda N van. These guys came with three of them. This one here, plus it's two inside. So we're just done washing this one. So I've gotten the owner's permission to check it out. Now, the thing about the Honda N van is that this is, of course, made for the Japanese market. But what's unique about it is that the, the N van has built quite a following in uh, Singapore's parallel import market. Why? Um, well, you see, the thing is that with the N van, you can choose to register it as a private vehicle or a commercial vehicle. Okay, so it's a choice, right? Whether you want to do... So when you register as a commercial vehicle, your COE becomes much, much lower. Okay, so this car is also sponsored by Sonex Singapore with all the decals. And let me just show you about. So this is the front end. This example is heavily modified. Lah. So it is powered by a 660cc turbocharged engine. Wow, this owner has done quite a bit of mods to the car, man. But I'll just come and say, Oh, you're set with Baccaro's way. Okay, so I'll start the engine. Uh, it's a CVT. So it has a CVT. And... So this obviously didn't come with the car. But uh, look at the instrument cluster. Tachometer. Speedometer. That reads until 140 kilometers per hour. And, well, the multi-info display that reads only in Japanese. So, what's fascinating, look at this. See, this compartment here is amazing. You can actually dock your phone here uh, to read your, your GPS and whatnot. Please don't use this to watch YouTube, just saying. Okay, and then there's a rubberized compartment here. And there's a slot here also, I think which you can just drop your cards then. Here, also very, very useful. Look at this. There's a cup holder here right in front of the air vents. Now, uh, this owner has went through a lot of personalization with the car. So, not a lot of things here. A lot of things, of course, are not representative of what came from the factory. Okay, but uh, even that, right? The cleverness of Honda storage solution is still very, very evident. Just look at this space here. This is a rather deep slot, right, that you can use to drop, like, I don't know, a card or, or, or maybe another mobile phone, something like that, okay? So, very, very useful space. This is a two-din slot, which uh, this owner has put in a Pioneer touchscreen system but basically it's a bit throwback to the 90s where where you know two din infotainment system mods were, were the thing so right here also wow the practicality just continues right so there's another storage tray here another sort of like cup holder space here and the airbag pops out from here okay the air con conditioning vents look at the place on the air conditioning vents for the driver one here one here the rounded vents and this is for the passenger passenger another tray here with a 12 volt socket and two usb ports right there single zone climate control okay and look at this here is a hook to hang things rated at three kilograms now this space here okay look at this so right here this is a solidly mount okay mounted removable Okay, partition here and this is all solid so here's also another another uh, 
cup holder right there. So here in this middle, right, it's uh, and then this looks like a, 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 a little bag that is minimum meant to fit in this space. Okay. Okay, I think later I have to strap this back in. Okay, this strap here. I think I have to strap this back in. So this is the original seat. Look at the the texture. It is minimum, it really looks like a hard wearing texture here. Okay. And look at this. This is damn cool. So this is the door grab area. And this is made into a hook that you can hang uh, to a maximum rated 300 grams wow this car has just so many clever touches and look at this another slot here to drop cards wow now let me just get down and show you something truly unique so firstly check out the driver the doors open 90 degrees the rear slides it's okay it's a sliding door so this is the B pillar here. Okay, look at this. Now, let me bring you over to the other side, to the passenger side. So the front door is hinged, the rear door slides. So you open this, okay? Open this, look at that. There is no B pillar there, okay? Is it opens up to a wide aperture and that's not even the end of the genius. So earlier on, okay, I opened the rear door first, correct? And Honda has built it in such a way, you can open either door first. It's the same. It's the same. And look at this front door, okay? You can actually store away this front door. You can pull this. You can pull all this. You can store sorry the front seat. You can store away the front seat. The rear seats are also made to be removable. Okay. <laughs> Space is not bad. Eh? I'm more than 70 centimeters tall, so well, not the comfiest of seats like here, but well, angle is good. I've got good leg room under me. Don't talk. Let's not talk about too much about uh, thigh support. There isn't much, but it's a pleasant place to be in. Why? Because there's just so much headroom above me. It gives the even though the the footprint is small, it gives the impression of spaciousness. Now let's check out the cargo area. Okay, so decent amount of space here, and as you can see here, they've mounted these uh, this safety belt here. So all these a lot of hard wearing materials, and look at this, my God, Honda is never stops to amaze me with the geni the geniusness of their packaging touch. So uh, this here is a bit of as a it's a built in ruler here, right? There's a 12 volt socket here. And amazing. This car is just a, a, a box of surprises. It's just a box of surprises. Wow. Look at this. Such a such a such a cute car. And so many clever touches in there. It is just amazing that. Even in such a small package, such a small package, Honda is able to pack in so much cleverness in a small area. Very, very impressive. And here, appearance, just to show you, this is how the N van looks like in its unmodified state. Check out these headlights. Okay. This one you can see the more plain look of its body. This one, this is another example. Now this one I know is uh, is uh, 
is a mobile detailer operating in uh, in Singapore. So yeah, those of you all based in Singapore, you want to get a car detailer right to your doorstep. This is the IG to take note of. Okay, so right here is another unit, a less modified unit. So allows me to show you the in, uh, the interior, the original, more original look of the interior. So here's the cup holder, the the instrument cluster over there. Aircon control, that is the cup holder over there, a little store, a little indentation as a storage tray, and also the aircon vents. Now this is actually is the glove box here, so it drops down and reveals that space. Right. And this one here has well the owner has added this accessory, okay, for additional storage. Oh, and also I didn't highlight earlier, parking brake is is foot operated. Wow, this one even has has uh, ADAS, look, uh, collision warning and also link kit assist. Uh, this is an aftermarket, this is an aftermarket uh, addition that helped the, for them to relocate the steering mounted controls here. This looks like, a, this yeah, this piece here looks 3D printed. This looks like a 3D printed piece and then they, they, they take the whole control panel from the steering and they put it here. Very, very clever. Aftermarket, but very, very clever. Such a fascinating little car. Yeah, so today we had the pleasure of working on not one, not two, but three Singapore registered Honda N Vents. A truly, truly unique, special, very quirky little car. Okay, and I understand it's a very popular car in Singapore. So uh, those of you hailing from Singapore, if you yourself are an owner of a Honda N van, I, I invite you to drop a line in the comment section, share with us your experience living, owning, driving uh, one of these cute little boxes. Right? I'll see you in my next video. Take care and cheers.